Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah amma bad. Today's video is a clarification on the video I released last night entitled England will become Muslim in brackets trigger, tr tr trigger warning. And it is to apologize and to confirm that I did slightly skew the numbers, but wallahi, it was a mistake. Uh, so to clarify what it was, um, know in fact what it is, 94% of our country is non-Muslim and they're currently responsible for 400,000. That's two thirds. But nonetheless, one third of the babies coming from 6%, 33% of the offspring coming from 6% of the population. And the point that the gentleman made in the video I was watching, it's like Politico or something is the channel, um, is that it's only going to take approximately 12, 13 years for the Muslim numbers to double. At which point we, as a community of 8 million, will be producing the same number of offspring as the community of 64 million. So it's a an eight times more production of children than the native population. Although, as I was trying to get across in the last video, the native population will, inshallah, become Muslim because, you know, I'm a perfect example. And there's hundreds of thousands of native people in this country who have embraced Islam because it's not a ethnic situation nor is it a cultural situation this is a divine situation it is an acceptance of the existence existence of god and a a willing a willing submission to his laws and commandments and so yeah just a clarification that yes the numbers were skewed and relating to another comment that i saw on the video saying how it's not the muslim's role or job or it may not even be lawful to come and replace the population and it's not this is not some you know people um elite gathering in some strange room conspiracy talking about how to completely uh overwhelm the british isles with muslim people no what it is unfortunately is that the native people are below replacement rate I believe it's something like 1.6, 1.7, perhaps. Uh, that's babies per couple, per mother. And as a result, obviously it takes two people to tango, two to tango, two, to, two people to make a baby. And if you're under an average of two, then you're not going to be increasing in numbers. And that's the state of Britain when you look, when you project out over 10, 20, 30, 40 and beyond years, is that the, the native population um, is stagnant, to say the least, if anything, marginally diminishing. And the Muslim population is increasing. And so it's not through anything other than the fact that the non-Muslims are, you know, I know this plagues the Muslim community too, but the Muslims are more, less susceptible to things that are, real diseases in society i mean you have to if you have an abortion you can't have a child <laughs> if you kill the child then your, your child will not be a statistic for population in the future if you have broken you come from broken homes then that is obviously not ideal so again to keep it short and succinct it was really the fact actually know that it, i just flipped it around by mistake what it is is that the six percent currently of this country who are Muslim are producing 200,000 of that 600,000 number. So it's one third. But nonetheless, it's comparatively still massively skewed, is it not? Because 94% of the population produce only 66% of the progeny and 6% produce 33%. And the point that the gentleman was making is that every year that becomes even more relatively um extreme because like say uh, give it 10 years and then you have a population of 8 million producing that's the muslims 
producing the same number of children as a population of 64 million. That's eight times more effective. And I guess to finish the video, I listened to a bit more of the video that I've been referencing in these last two videos from Politico or something like this. And something that I came across was him saying that as Islam, this is almost Islam's self-destruction because it comes into the West and education is increased, then like what's happened to Christianity, religion slowly dies due to education and information. But I fear for the good man that that is not the case because it is not simply that education uh, destroys religion. Yes, to people who are simply sheep, people who are culturally religious, then maybe they will find um, some interest and solace perhaps in the modern liberal freedoms, the lure of all that good stuff. He says, oh, as the women come out of the kitchen and stop being baby factories. But I can only speak um, about my own wife and my own family, that they laugh at this feminist liberal agenda. They laugh at the women who are trying to be men. They laugh at them going to work full time, stressing out their lives rather than just being in their reclined, tranquil and natural state of a homemaker and mother. And look, if you want to go out and work, then be my guest, pay your taxes, uh, have a career if you think that's more important than being a mother and supporting the next generation of human beings to lead a prosperous society once we pass on. But, you know, it's like this is not simply like a barbaric um, uneducated religion versus the beautiful and enlightened ideals of liberal Western countries. It's far more nuanced than that. And I think that that's what people clearly can't grasp with Islam is that there is a lot of intellectual curiosity and investigation in Islam and that the women are happy and free, as, at least in my circles, at least in with the family that I have and the, the men I associate with. That's not to say, of course, that there's atrocities that happen, absolute injustices. And that happens if we take our own country of England. There's all sorts of madness that goes on in homes of the 94% non-Muslim as well as the 6% Muslim. But this is not Islam. This is not what it came to came to change and and purify people's souls. And so, yeah, so the main po po point of the video is a clarification that the numbers were certainly skewed, but nonetheless, they are incredibly extreme when we look at the fact that to conclude... As it stands today, 6% of this country's population is producing one third. And as the years go on, it's only going to be the late 2030s when arguably myself as a gentleman will be entering his peak. <laughs> uh, the ch My children will be teenagers, inshallah. Um, at that point, when the Muslim population by that time will have doubled in, in, in just over 10 years, at that point, the 8 million Muslim population of Great Britain will be producing the same number of babies, 50%. It will go from 33% to 50% in just over a decade. The 8 million strong Muslim population will be producing the same number as the 64 million strong non-Muslim population. And the video is not Obviously, I put the trigger warning there and it's not to make it massively clickbaity, although I do want people to watch the videos and engage with the channel. But it's 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 not so much a fear mongering tactic to say that Muslims are taking over. It's to say, look, this is the reality. If you want to change this, this, this is not even anything to do with immigration. This is not to do with anything other than the fact that the current population as it stands, you have two groups of people. One of them are breeding to over replacement. And one of them are breeding under replacement. And this is obviously going to have an exponential effect as we add years to decades to centuries. And how do we combat this? Well, people can start to have, the non-Muslims can start to have strong families and babies. But without an objective moral framework, it seems unlikely the strength of this country, we can find it in the pre and post Second World War period of Christian Britain. We no longer have this, unfortunately. And I said I was going to conclude. Another comment was saying, I said, oh, look how the one comment from uh, Ahi Adam said, 
this is not triggering, this is simply true. And I said, indeed, but wait until the white, wait for the white man hate in the comments. And then one brother said, uh, in quotes, uh, Christian nationalists. But unfortunately, good sir, this country is no longer Christian in any real way. And I wish it was. I certainly wish it was. But it's it's not. The predominant practicing religion in this country today is Islam. A big thing that was in the news recently was the cries and jeers and, oh, the, the woe is us situation because there's Ramadan lights during a time of, of Easter. But when we're looking at the stats, guys, most people didn't even turn up on one day to go to the uh, Easter Sunday congregation. One day. If you go into the thousands of mosques across this island every single day, every single night, congregations packed, people praying outside because there's not enough space, extensions on the mosques, purchasing of new buildings for new mosques, as opposed to churches being sold off for apartments or community spaces. It's night and day, and this is just a reality. This is not to say anything about the objective truth claim in and of itself, but there's a reality that Islam is practiced. It's almost as if the average Muslim is like more like the average monk rather than a layman, someone who seriously dives into their scripture, somebody who takes seriously the tenets of the faith and has a strong identity as opposed to the Christians who are generally lukewarm, culturally associated with the religion. They might turn up to church on a Sunday, maybe, most likely not, as opposed to the Muslim who is entering masajid, that's to say the mosques, on a daily basis, regular. This is not just, we don't just rock up on a Friday, even though that is obligatory. We're going as much as we can because we are connected to our place of worship um, strongly and tightly. And so this is just a reality that I was trying to get across. I'm very sorry. May Allah forgive me for skewing the numbers slightly there. That's why I felt it was appropriate just to quickly jump on now and uh, rectify that mistake. But nonetheless, the essence of the video remains the same. That literally, factually, if we fast forward in time to maybe long after I've passed on and, and maybe um, when my son is an old man, you know, you fast forward, or maybe his son, my, when my grandson is an old man in a hundred plus years time, then this country undoubtedly will be majority Muslim. I don't know if it'll even have to take that long. Uh, look in the city of Manchester, the major cities, London, Birmingham, Manchester, it's going to be by before, if Allah grants me a long life, if you fast forward 40 years, then Manchester will be Manchester and London and Birmingham will be majority Muslim. And this is not something to fear. This is not some because Muslim people might have an association with Arabs, with Pakistanis, with the, it's a cultural situation. But like I say, as more and more English people and white people embrace Islam, then hopefully we can bridge the gap of understanding and allow people to realize that actually Christianity and Islam are incredibly similar. The Christian country that many people want to cling on to is something similar to the Muslim country that, that England will become because you're talking about a very similar ethical framework, a very similar identity in relation to the lineage, the, the string of prophets from the past. And so when you're talking about family, tradition, community, marriage, worship, charity, sacrifice, all these things. Uh, fasting is obviously uh, a big thing. And so Christianity and Islam are very much uh, brothers and sisters, cousins. So it's peculiar to me, obviously, it's the propaganda narrative that people wish to hate on Islam so much as opposed to Christianity. And I think it's because Christianity has become lukewarm and soft and has actually given up a lot of its uh, foundation in order to try and uh, concede or maybe adapt to the modern world but look where that's taking them so anyway thanks so much for watching the video if you've watched it this far then please do like if you've not already then certainly subscribe if i would expect if you've watched it this far you're probably subscribed um and, and please do put a comment down below again apologies for the uh the warping of the statistics 
but here I am. Like I say, any good from these videos comes from Almighty God, and any mistakes are obviously my own, and we are human, we are fallible, we will make mistakes. And of course, always remember, big up your good selves. Until next time, good folk.